Well, how do there, chums? It's Captain Steve here, and today, chums, I'm going to walk you through this awesome expedition. Yes, Expedition 14, Liquidators, where you have to take out bugs. So, phases one and two are extremely simple, and they're a little bit similar in a roundabout way. In fact, every phase is a little bit similar in a roundabout way. So, it's going to start off anyway. You've got to find your ship and repair your ship. That is pretty much self-explanatory. You select the mission. It shows you your ship marker. You head towards it. On your way there, make sure you collect a load of carbon and other resources. Shoot some heridium, the little blue crystals, all that sort of stuff. Get everything you need. The dehydrogen, sorry, not heridium. That's years ago. Right. After you've actually fixed your ship, take off in your ship but before you've taken off in your ship make sure you've got something of value on you maybe dig up some ancient bones or grab yourself something from inside of the caves like vortex cubes or something something that's worth money that you can sell up inside of the actual station i mean if you do destroy the little green bugs around your ship and you've got all those organs you can sell those they fetch a lot of money as well but you need enough money to buy yourself five five microprocessors while you're up there. You're also going to need some wiring limbs, I believe. But anyway, next you need to go into a warp flight and jump into the next system. So while you're in the planet, you might want to get yourself some copper and spin that into chromatic metal so you can make your antimatter and make your housing and make your actual warp fuel to do that jump, or else you're going to have to go back down to the planet. Cool, yo. Now it says here, kill 16 biological horrors. When you get to your ship, and you're going to go repair it, those little green horrors actually pop out, and there's at least 16 of them there. So you might even pop this badge ambiently, or it might pop when you go to your first infestation site. But anyway, what you're going to find inside of every single phase is a drop zone, and you're going to find an infestation site. So the drop zone is going to give you orders, and it is to go to an infestation site and clear the infestation. When you get to the infestation site, you're going to be encountered by a giant like infestation brood queen a big giant insect creature and sometimes you might even get the little green biological horrors pop up as well you definitely get the green horrors pop up when you go to your drop zone so just be prepared for that so yeah keeping your resources stacked is probably the most difficult part of phases one and two and to sort of you know, keep on top of your inventory because it gets full extremely quickly okay so pretty much every single phase you go to a drop zone i mean there will be little creatures that jump out at you at every single drop zone you're probably going to find a lot of comms balls at every single drop zone as well just dispatch these little guys you only have to defeat a couple of waves and they will disappear they will subside and they burrow back underground where they came from Take like there's your little green menace now, they do drop some organs, which you can use in a later mission to turn into, like, um, oh, what is it? Rancid ribs. So you get rancid organs or rancid flesh from these guys. And you can turn that into rancid ribs once you've got your neutron processor. Take this, you. You little get bags from hell. Zap, dee zap. Don't come back. Yeah, so these are going to pop out at your drop zone. Ow! You little get back! You bit me! Okay, cool. I'm now a hell diver. I saw the message. Right. So you head on in. Boom. And you head on over to this. And you get your mission brief. And this happens every step of the way. This bit's the same. Then you get a little bit of lore. But it's, it's nothing tied to the Void Mother. It's just like the escapades of the Vanguard. Once you've been given your orders, you're going to get this mech-like icon. And it's just a case of going there to an infestation site. It's an abandoned building, so it's going to have all the eggs around it. It's a good chance for you to get your whispering eggs. And uh, yeah, just get a few at each of the sites. And there's another badge to get all the whispering eggs. Now, what I like about this mech marker is it's not the approximate location. It takes you directly to the place. Now, when you land at this, you're going to get attacked normally by the little green guys. And also a giant void mother thing, you know, one of these brood mothers. So yeah, just be on your guard. If you can, if you're super quick, if you can get out your exomech, it's going to help you a little bit. If you've got your exomech, I mean, you don't get him till later on inside of the expedition, but as soon as you have, is 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 a good bit of help. Okay, at least this time the little green guys didn't pop out the ground as well. 
But yeah, it's just a case of doing battle with this freaking thing. Heck yeah. Now, if you can shoot off all of the actual armor plating on this, it's got them on all of its legs, it's got it on its forex, it's got it on its backside. If it does that, like, jump move, just get back. It does that when you get close. If you get a little bit too far away, it tries to spit acid up into the sky at you. But if you can take off all of its armor, it actually weakens it massively, just leaves it nice and soft for you to kill. Brilliant, eh? And after you've actually cleared the actual infestation from the site, you got rid of the void mothery thing or whatever it is, you can head on in, the brood mother. And head in through these doors here. And lovely jubbly. You can get yourself a lovely little bit of snippet of lore. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so phase two. There's not really too much in here that is you know, taxing in any stretch of the imagination. You've got your drop zone. You've got your actual infestation site. Lovely. Now, you are going to get gifted for one of these. You're going to get given a uh, the hazmat gauntlets. Now, the hazmat gauntlets are actually pre-packaged, and you can just install them into your actual exosuit. But once you've actually got those in, you should be able to pick up one of these grubs, and then you should be able to pop it and crush it and call in another one of the actual giant insect bosses type thing. This one, the close air support, you've just got to use your jetpack for 1,000 U's. Now, whenever there's a storm on the planet, just use your jetpack and you can use it almost indefinitely and just keep flying and flying and flying and flying. And that's pretty simple to unlock. So there's a couple of in there that are a little bit tricky, but nothing overly. This is just unleash 1,800 rounds of ammunition, but hopefully you've already done ambulantly by attacking these uh, areas. Now, something to mention is at the infestation sites, they're abandoned buildings. They've got the whispering eggs around them. There is a badge to collect as many of these whispering eggs as possible. You might feel slightly underpowered. However, just grab a couple at each site and run in the building if you take any damage and wait for your shields to recover on their own. And if you have got any of that rancid meat from killing the little green critters, eat that. It's going to give you your shields back. Okay? Coolio. It doesn't taste nice, but it does the job. Cool. So, phase three. This is where things start to get a little bit more interesting and a little bit harder. Okay, so you've got your drop zone. Get your orders. Take out the little green guys. Go to the infestation site. There might be little green guys, but there's definitely going to be a giant freaking insect queen kill that and kill them by taking out all their armor first that makes them a bit more squishy boom done next off the apex predator now this one was a little bit more tricky and i've got some footage on where i found the apex i see when i get to the very first one there holy fudge look at that thing that just went past me i scan that holy mackerel oh there we go that's the aggressive predator. So you're probably going to want to know what planet this is. Okay, let me show you. So if I go to my discoveries, it's this planet here. Ear Dog Sigma, the Vanguard or something. So yeah, here it is. It's in there. You're discovered by the Vanguard. And yeah, pretty darn cool. There's only two planets in this system. Sweet. And if you want the portal code for it, let me get you that. There it is in the bottom left hand corner. That's where I found my dangerous creature. And it was that big slug type looking critter. So here we go. I'll show you him inside my discoveries page. Discoveries. And it's, I guess, this guy here. Extremely wow. Okay. It was found by Soban. I can't rename the dang thing. Sweet. Okay, so I'm looking at the sort of like rendezvous point right now. That's where my that's where my hazardous type weird creature was right there. That's my current location. That's where I found that dangerous creature. And just over here is actually a dissonance system right there. So I'm going to go to the dissonance system. Okay, so you've been to a few of these infestation sites and hopefully you've got yourself a nice little you know, collection of the little eggs that you find around there well there you go you've got to get 13 of them in total now there is exactly 13 usually around the actual abandoned building so hopefully if you haven't got all 13 now hopefully you can go and grab them thank you jay savage for just subscribing heck yes 
So yeah, be a bit careful with that one, collecting the eggs. Get all the eggs at the last site, you know, because this is another infestation site. Just going to grab a couple here. Ouch. There we go. I think we've got them all. Sweet. We've got them all. Get in my ship and get out of here. Sweet. Let me in. <laughs> and there we go. Sweet. Neutron processor, whispering omelette, planetary charts times three. Cool. I imagine we're going to have to do some cooking a bit later. Now this one, I wasn't 100% sure what I had to do. I was wondering whether I might have to farm or like, you know, plant some plants and then harvest them all by hand using my hazmat gauntlets and all that sort of stuff. No, 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 no. This is using your mining beam. So if, hopefully you've got a couple of modules in on your mining beam so you can keep the mining beam active. But it's a case of holding down the R2 trigger. And as you see it go all the way up and start heating up, relax off a bit and just keep it up in the red why you keep harvesting everything and it's just you've got to hit 900 harvested items it's not one of the same items so you can swap from minerals to flora back to minerals to flora just keep harvesting stuff and hopefully you're going to complete that milestone i have some footage right, so this is the harvesting using a multi-tool without letting the beam burn out or anything like that okay let's go for it Well, it would help if um, half this stuff wasn't with an advanced mining laser, wouldn't it? Okay, it's getting warm, but... It'd be nice if the meter down in the bottom would tell me how well I'm doing. Oh, there we go. It is now. I'm on, what, 400? I still think I'm doing this in one sweep. I mean, I have got all the mining lasers in, so... You know. There we go. I think we're doing quite good. Come on, we can do it. Oh, it's getting hot. Come on. No! I tripped over a rock. Come on, we've done it. Like, yes, that was a fun one. No. Sweet. Never had that one before. That's an interesting one, people. So hopefully you'll be able to pull that off at home. Oh, my inventory is full. But there we go. That was a pretty tricky badge. So lore, lore, lore of the jungle. Oh, watch out for that tree. Right, okay. So this one is just taking out hazardous flora. Now, hopefully, as you've been going across the planet, you're probably going to need oxygen anyway. Hopefully, you've been shooting a couple of these. Hopefully, you haven't got all 16 to find, or else that's going to be a chore and a half. But yeah, just pop yourself some hazardous flora. Lovely and jubbly and done. I mean, it's not going to take you too long if you haven't, so I won't really worry. Okay, right. Phase four. Okay, phase four, it gets even more tedious or tricky or whatever you want to put it but you've got your drop zone you've got your you've got your, your void your creaturey mother thing cool next you've got to clear the swarm around six waypoints now we've already been to quite a lot of waypoints and you've got all these little green guys popping up easy peasy just carry on doing a bit of that but i did that ambulantly that just popped i didn't i did that without trying in fact i did that without trying some time ago because sometimes you land your ship at just any old waypoint those little green guys pop out anyway so yeah just make sure you clear them down just keep shooting them until they burrow into the ground next is a blood in the water you have to battle three deep sea monstrosities mine bugged out on the third one i went into a cave to pop my third one and it caused the third wave of these creatures to all spawn under the ground I captured the footage of it. It's extremely weird. Enjoy. I was... Okay, here flummoxed. we go. Let's see how we get on then with this um, underwater creature one. I've got to go select my mission again now. There we go. Kapow. Let's just do this. Sweet. There's one. Shoot him. Okay, reload. Got him. 
Okay, then I guess I've just got to find a few more of those now and do it two more times. Simple pimple. Okay, trust the last one to be in a cave underneath the ground. Fun times. Hopefully I'm not going to drown. Here we go. Grab these. Well, where is it? I, I can hear it, but I can't see it. What the flying fudge is going on? There's loads of them. But they're... They're outside of the cave. I don't know what's going on. But they're all stuck underneath the ground, I guess. Just hope I kill one. Got him! Oh my days, this game is janky. Oh, get me out of the water. Yeah, I got damaged. Now, a lot, a lot of the planets have um, uh, storms, and you're going to go to a couple of frost wells anyway. This one just popped for me ambiently. I think I was doing battles with sentinels at the time on this frost weld, taking out a frost walker, or a, a sentinel walker, and uh, it, it just popped. As soon as I killed the walker, it, it popped with that badge as well. I got the two at the same time. I, I didn't capture the footage of that, sadly. Right, fire in the hole, hit four targets with one grenade. It's tricky, but it can be done. I found it's easier to do it at one of the infestation sites where you've got the eggs around the building. Just aim the grenade at the eggs, or shoot the eggs first so all the creatures spawn, then fire a grenade almost immediately, or just fire a couple of grenades at the eggs, and hopefully they're going to explode, and then the second one's going to explode and take out all the creatures. Okay, I've got this badge. Fire in the hole, four hits with one grenade. Okay. Well, let's um, let's make sure that I've recharged. Oh my days! They got me. Ouch! Okay, I'm gonna eat some of this. Get some of my health back. Let's jump out and let's get on the roof of this place. Hi ya! Let's recharge my plasma launcher. Let's see if we can get four hits. Hmm. They just go up all over the place. There you go. I think I got him. Yeah, there we go. We got him. Four in one hit. Just aim at the eggs. <laughs> got him. Sweet. Expedition. Pretty simple one, that. But yeah, aim at the eggs. Okay, so this one you have to find a dissonant system. You can do that from space. You're just looking where it normally says water on the galactic map, or on a planet or whatever, or system. And instead it's going to say dissonant. You go there, go to the dissonant planet, and uh, just engage with the sentinels there. They're all going to be corrupted. You're going to get little spider tanks that can go invisible and stuff. I called in my exomech. Now the exomech climb inside it and do a load of damage that way or just use it as an AI companion and it takes them all out it takes a load out for you as well so it makes it a bit easier pretty darn nice I think I've got some footage of me doing some combat and put it okay in. so I'm looking at the sort of like the rendezvous point right now that's where my that's where my hazardous type weird creature was right there that's my current location that's where I found that dangerous creature and just over here is actually a dissonance system right there. So I'm going to go to the dissonance system. Ah, just found out that the actual um, count doesn't actually count if you're using the AI. You have to actually pilot the, the Minotaur yourself for the 50 kill count. So now I'm just going to kill a load of corrupted sentinels for that kill count. I mean, technically, I should be going up against normal sentinels and taking out walkers with a dang thing, Right, final are. phase. Kill 50 hostiles with the Minotaur. Okay, you have to be in the Minotaur. You have to be piloting the Minotaur for that to pop, okay? So you've also got to take out four Sentinel Walkers. So you're going to have to go to four systems if there's... Okay, so in to gauge battle with the Sentinels, I'm picking up planetary charts for the secure locations. 
So I'm just going to grab as many of these as I can. You get navigational data from like the save sort of pods at pretty much any waypoint on a planet. So there you go. Got a load of those. Now what I do is jump to a new system where I haven't already triggered Sentinels and uh, go on a little bit of a hunt for them, pretty much, uh, by using the map. So here we go. Uh, where's the maps? Delete Maps, maps, maps. And kapow. Manufacturing facility. Perfect. We're on our way. So if you're not sure what I mean by the save beacons at any waypoint on a planet, I'm on about these sort of posts here. So just hit that up. Right. I'm going to have to dispatch all these guys anyway. Go on. Get out of it. And you. Yeah, you sneaky little blighter. I guess. So dispatch these. And then... What I might do is even call in my Exomech as some backup. He's already got the AI unit in there, so he should fight for himself. Lovely. And then just look for a Sentinel. You should find a Sentinel fairly quickly, but if you can't find a Sentinel, just go shoot the doors and they'll turn up. Hey, I shot you. Get back. Okay, here's the doors. Shoot those. There you go. The sentinels will come and get me now. And this should help us get the sentinel walkers. Eventually the sentinel walkers will turn up. Kaboom. Little tip. If you shoot these green canisters, you're going to get your shields back. And so it keeps you in good health. Then eventually a sentinel walker is going to drop in. If you take off his leg plating, they go all bandy and fall to one side. And give you a chance to completely decimate them. There you go. Kaboom! I don't like these little sentinel dogs. Now they go invisible. They're right, little gits. You see what I mean? He got my shields down, not the walker. Right, there we go. Got my shields back a little, but I need some more canisters now. We've got one. Hopefully none of my tech got damaged. Well, there we go. That's how you take out a walker. Now, the only trouble is, is now that you've done that and you've managed to take out all the waves of Sentinel, it's going to go blue. You're not going to be able to get any more Sentinels in the same system. So you're going to have to jump to another system in space. There you go, look, it's gone blue above my head. I can't actually call in any more Sentinels now. No matter how annoying I am or how much I try, they're not going to attack me. So, yeah, fun times. So you're going to have to go to four systems if the Sentinels keep getting shut down. But yet... Yeah, Take out all the Sentinels, perhaps inside of your actual Minotaur. It's actually really good fun. And you do a lot of damage inside your Minotaur. I'm actually surprised how effective the Minotaur is to the point that I think I'm going to be using it a lot more inside of my actual gameplay going forwards. Okay, so Bleeding Foam, you only need 6,000 nanites. During this expedition, I got gifted quite a lot of duplicate sort of uh, modules, technology modules, or some technology modules I didn't want to install, like the Blaze Javelin. Don't really like that as a weapon. So I sold them, and I, it didn't take me long before I got the 6,000 nanites. If you're short of the 6,000 nanites, make sure you upload all your discoveries from scanning stuff that you've probably been doing ambiently. But not only that, all those little um, egg things, the larval cores that you've been collecting around that abandoned building, put them into a, a processor, a refiner, and they refine into nanites. You can get loads of nanites that way as well, peeps. So pretty easy to hit that target. Um, it, you can also do it with pugnium, and you've been getting pugnium from all the sentinel kills. Spin that into nanites too. Okay, iron giants take out four sentinel walkers. Mentioned that earlier. With the old um, exo mech, it makes it a heck of a lot easier. Spare ribs, very, very easy to do. All those little green guys you've been killing around the abandoned buildings, as long as you've got some of that rancid flesh, you can just spin it straight into rancid ribs using your nutrient processor, which you get gifted from a previous sort of mission. Boom, and you can create that. Very easy. Yeah, it looks like we're making whatever we need to make now. So let's put in some rancid flesh in there, like it's telling us to. 
and we we'll make that thing. So I'll just make maybe, what, two of them, perhaps? Oh, hold on. I think we've actually finished. Is that it? Is that all I needed to do? Well, that was really simple. Okay, so you get the rancid meat from killing those little green guys. So, yeah, pretty easy. Chick -a -pat. Okay, then you've got your final drop zone, your final infestation site, and then you find out what actually happened to the member of the Vanguard that you've been reading the logs of. And it's, it's an interesting one, which I go into in my review video that I do of this, which will be my probably my next video. Yeah, Liquidator's the review. Keep an eye out for it. If you haven't already subscribed and smash that bell, hopefully that gives you reason to. Do it! I guess! But that's pretty much the whole of the expedition done, apart from these optional milestones, which I'm going to do a separate video for, but it's basically going around, shooting the heck out of all these different sorts of, I don't know, creature mothers or whatever they are, and doing your part, which I'm going to be doing. I'm not going to end off the expedition. Not that I know of anyway. So if I go in here and collect all my rewards, which I've done, I've collected them. There's only one more reward to actually collect. So I'm going to hit that one up, collect my reward. I want to see whether this asks me if I want to um, convert my save or not, or whether I want to continue with the optional missions. Cool. Brilliant. Current liquidation level 9%. Heck yes. So I can continue on with my optional missions. So that's a little bit of extra advice for you. A little extra thing there that you can actually go and collect everything, which is pretty darn sweet. Cool, Leo. Well, that's, that's the expedition. That's it. That's pretty much everything I've got for you people in the view of us. Hopefully you've learned something from this. Hopefully you found something useful. If you did, smash that subscribe button. I'm at 45,000 subscribers. Let's see if we can hit 50,000. That'd be awesome. That's halfway to getting one of those lovely YouTube plaques. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.